French President Emmanuel Macron meets with Mamadou Gassama, 22, from Mali, at the Presidential Elysee Palace in Paris. Gassama living illegally in France is being honored by Macron for scaling an apartment building over the weekend to save a four-year-old child dangling from a fifth-floor balcony. AP migrants wait to disembark from the ship Aquarius in the Sicilian harbor of Catania, Italy Reuters Ireland awaits the official result of a referendum that could end the country's ban on abortion. Co-director of Together for Yes L.B. Smith speaks to the media after exit polls suggested victory for the Yes campaign. PA Wire, PA Images, film producer Harvey Weinstein arrives at the first precinct in Manhattan where he turned himself into New York police for sexual misconduct charges. Reuters Russian President, Vladimir Putin, R, meets with his French counterpart Emmanuel Macron at the Constantine Palace in Strelna, outside St. Petersburg, on May 24, 2018 Getty Images people protest out as to the Tamil Nadu. House after at least 10 people were killed when police fired on protesters seeking closure of plant on environmental grounds in town of Thuthakudi in southern state of Tamil Nadu, in New Delhi. Ani via Reuters people demonstrate in Paris during a nationwide day protest by French public sector employees and public servants against the overhauls proposed by French President Emmanuel Macron, calling the man attack by the centrist leader against civil services as well as their economic security. AFP, Getty newly appointed Catalan president, Quim Tour arrives to visit jailed Catalan separatist politicians at the Estramera jail near Madrid. AFP, Getty Venezuelan president Nicolas Maduro casts his vote during the presidential elections in Caracas. Maduro was seeking a second term in power. AFP, Getty channelized lava emerges on Kilauea volcano's lower east rift zone on Hawaii. The USGS said on its website that, a fast-moving Pahoe Hoi lava flow that emerged from Fisher 20 continues to flow southeast, with the quickest of three lobes progressing at 230 yards, 210 meters, per hour. AFP, U.S. Geological Survey Santa Fe High School student Dakota Schrader is comforted by her mother Susan Davidson, following a shooting at the school in Texas. Schrader said her friend was shot in the incident. Multiple people have been killed. Stuart Villanueva, the Galveston County Daily News via AP French President Emmanuel Macron, British Prime Minister Theresa May and German Chancellor Angela Merkel meeting during the EU Western Balkan Summit in Sofia, Bulgaria. Reuters people hold flags with the state coat of arms of Russia as they drive along a bridge which was constructed to connect the Russian mainland with the Crimean Peninsula across the Kerch Strait. Reuters Palestinians run away from tear gas shot at them by Israeli forces during a protest in Ramallah, in the occupied West Bank AFP, Getty a Palestinian demonstrator runs during a protest against the U.S. Embassy move to Jerusalem and ahead of the 70th anniversary of the Nakba at the Israel-Gaza border. Reuters a bullet hole on the window of a cafe in Paris, the day after a knifeman killed one man and wounded four other people before being shot dead by police AFP, Getty Germany's Chancellor Angela Merkel. Looks on after receiving the Lamp of Peace, the Nobel Catholic Award for her work of conciliation for the peaceful cohabitation of peoples at the Basilica Superiore of St. Francis of Assisi in Italy. AFP, Getty Police Forensics investigate the death of seven people in a suspected murder-suicide in Australia. Four children are among seven people that were found dead at a rural property in Osmington, near Margaret River. Detectives are investigating the incident, which was said to be treated as a murder-suicide, media reported. Two firearms were found at the scene, Western Australia Police said. EPA missiles rise into the sky as Israeli missiles hit air defense position and other military bases, in Damascus, Syria. 
The Israeli military on Thursday said it attacked dozens of Iranian targets in neighboring Syria in response to an Iranian rocket barrage on Israeli positions in the Golan Heights, in the most serious military confrontation between the two bitter enemies to date. Reuters Iranian MPs burning a U.S. flag in the parliament in Tehran Iran said it will hold talks with signatories to a nuclear deal after U.S. President Donald Trump's decision to withdraw from the accord, which it branded psychological warfare. President Hassan Rouhani also said Iran could resume uranium enrichment without limit, in response to Trump's announcement. AFP, Islamic Consultative Assembly News Agency newly elected Prime Minister of Armenia Nikol Pashinyan addresses the crowd in Republic Square in Yerevan. The leader of protests that gripped Armenia for weeks was named the country's new Prime Minister on Tuesday, overcoming the immediate political turmoil but raising uncertainty about the longer term. AP Russian President Vladimir Putin walks before his president inauguration ceremony at the Kremlin in Moscow. Reuters lava from a robust fissure eruption on Kilauea's East Rift Zone consumes a home, then threatens another, near Pahoa, Hawaii. The total number of homes lost within the Lalani Estate subdivision thus far is 21, and geologists from the Hawaii Volcanoes Observatory do not expect the eruption to cease anytime soon. A local state of emergency has been declared after Mount Kilauea erupted near residential areas, forcing mandatory evacuation of about 1,700 citizens from their nearby homes. The crater's floor collapsed on the 1st of May and is since then continuing to erode its walls and generating huge explosions of ashes. Several earthquakes have been recorded in the area where the volcanic eruptions continue, including a 6.9 magnitude earthquake which struck the area on the 4th of May. EPA, Paradise Helicopters Russian police carrying struggling opposition leader Alexei Navalny at a demonstration against President Vladimir Putin in Moscow. Thousands of demonstrators denouncing Putin's upcoming inauguration into a fourth term gathered in the capital's Pushkin Square. AP Chinese President Xi Jinping speaks at an event to mark Karl Marx's 200th birthday at the Great Hall of the People in Beijing. AP President Vladimir Putin meets with FIFA President Johnny Infantino in Sochi, ahead of the 2018 World Cup in Russia. AFP, Getty supporters of opposition lawmaker Nikol Pishinyan protest in Republic Square in Yerevan, Armenia. Pashinyan has urged his supporters to block roads, railway stations and airports after the governing Republican Party voted against his election as Prime Minister. AP Cubans march during the May Day rally at Revolution Square in Havana. AFP, Getty the sky is the limit, a Saudi man and woman fly over the Arabian Sarawich Mountains in the first ever joint wingsuit flight in traditional dress. A symbolic leap of faith towards women's empowerment in Saudi Arabia. Al Walid Philanthropies a general view for the damaged railway station in Al Qadam neighborhood after it was recaptured from Islamic State militants in the south of Damascus. According to media reports, the Syrian army continued the military offensive it has launched earlier this month against militant groups entrenching in southern Damascus and captured several neighborhoods, including Al Qadam and Al Asali, and targeting the remnants of armed groups in Al Hajar Al Aswad and its surrounding and Damascus southern countryside. EPA comedian Michelle Wolf attends the celebration after the White House Correspondents' Dinner. Conservatives walked out after Wolf brutally ridiculed President Donald Trump and his aides during her piece. Getty North Korean leader Kim Jong-un and South Korean President Moon Jae-in raised their hands after signing on a joint statement North Korean leader Kim Jong-un, left, and South Korean President Moon Jae-in raised their hands after signing on a joint statement at the border village of Panmunjom in the demilitarized zone, South Korea.
Korean War will be formally declared over after 65 years, the North and South have said. At a historic summit between leaders Kim Jong-un and Moon Jae-in, the neighboring countries agreed they would work towards peace on the peninsula with a formal end to the conflict set to be announced later this year. The pair agreed to bring the two countries together and establish a peace zone on the contested border. Korea summit press pool via AP women hold portraits of their relatives, who are victims of the Chernobyl nuclear disaster, during a commemoration ceremony in Kiev, Ukraine. Reuters Rohingya refugees gather in the no-man's land behind mine Mars border lined with barbed wire fences in Mangda district, Rakhine state bounded by Bangladesh. Myanmar government said on April 15, it repatriated on April 14 the first family of Rohingya out of some 700,000 refugees who have fled a brutal military campaign, a move slammed by a rights group as a PR stunt ignoring UN warnings that a safe return is not yet possible. AFP, Getty President Donald Trump, French President Emmanuel Macron, First Lady Melania Trump and Bridget Macron hold hands on the White House balcony during a state arrival ceremony in Washington. APA boy walks on a pile of garbage covering a drain in New Delhi. Reuters newly ordained priests lie on the floor as Pope Francis leads a mass in St. Peter's Basilica, the Vatican. Reuters South Koreans cheer during the welcoming event for the inter-Korean summit between South Korea and North Korea in Seoul. The inter-Korean summit is scheduled on April 27, 2018 at the Joint Security Area in Panmunjom, agreed by South Korean President Moon Jae-in and North Korea's leader Kim Jong-un. Getty A Palestinian slings a shot by burning tires on the Israel-Gaza border, following a demonstration calling for the right to return. Palestinian refugees either fled or were expelled from what is now the State of Israel during the 1948 war. AFP, Getty outgoing Cuban President Raul Castro raising the arm of Cuba's new President Miguel Diaz-Canel after he was formally named by the National Assembly, in Havana. A historic handover ending six decades of rule by the Castro brothers. The 57-year-old Diaz-Canel, who was the only candidate for the presidency, was elected to a five-year term with 603 out of 604 possible votes in the National Assembly. AFP slash Getty slash www.cubadebate.cu Turkey's President Recep Tayyip Erdogan announces early presidential and parliamentary elections for June 24, 2018, at the Presidential Palace, in Ankara. Erdogan announced the snap elections, originally scheduled for November 2019, in a move that will usher in a new political system increasing the powers of the president. He said the new system needed to be implemented quickly in order to deal with a slew of challenges ahead, including Turkey's fight against Kurdish insurgents in Syria and Iraq. AP European lawmakers raise placards reading, Stop the war in Syria, in protest against air strikes launched by the US, Britain and France in Syria last week criticizing the legitimacy of the operation, as French President Emmanuel Macron delivers his speech at the European Parliament in Strasbourg. Macron is expected to outline his vision for the future of Europe to push for deep reforms of the 19-nation Eurozone and will launch a drive to seek European citizens' opinions on the European Union's future. AP people participate in a protest against the rape of an 8-year-old girl in Kathway near Jammu, and a teenager in Unnao, Uttar Pradesh state, in Bangalore, India Reuters fireworks are set off as the final performance takes place during the closing ceremony for the 2018 Commonwealth Games. PA the wreckage of the Scientific Studies and Research Center compound in the Barza district, north of Damascus, after the United States, UK and France launched strikes against Syrian President Bashar al-Assad's regime early on April 14 in response to an alleged chemical weapons attack after mulling military action for nearly a week. 
Syrian state news agency Sana reported several missiles hit a research center in Barza, north of Damascus, destroying a building that included scientific labs and a training center, AFP, Getty Indian activists gathered to show. Support for the chairperson of the Delhi Commission for Women Swati Maliwal, who is on a hunger strike against the alleged rapes in Uttar Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, in New Delhi, India. According to news reports Maliwal is sitting on hunger strike demanding that authorities take strict actions against the alleged rapists. EPA Shiite pilgrims carry a symbolic casket outside Imam Musa al Qadim's shrine to mark the anniversary of his death in Baghdad. Iraq Reuters seasonal winds wash tons of debris ashore at Matahari Turbit Beach near Sainer, Bali, Indonesia. Reuters Syrian onlookers gather around rescue teams clearing the rubble at the site of an explosion of unknown origin which wrecked a multi story building the previous night in the war battered country's northwestern city of Idlib. The cause of the explosion in the jihadist-held city, which killed more than a 10 people and wounded 80, according to the Britain-based Syrian Observatory for Human Rights Monitoring Group, was not immediately clear. AFP, Getty protesters try to block French gendarmes during an evacuation operation in the Zone Z, Deferred Development Zone, in Notre Dame des Landes, near Nantes, France. Reuters competitors cross the start line at the annual Pyongyang Marathon. AFP, Getty the body of journalist Yasser Murtaha, 31, is carried during his funeral in Gaza City. He was shot by Israeli troops while reporting on Palestinian protests on the Gaza-Israel border. Reuters supporters of the former South African President Jacob Zuma rally prior to his appearance in the KwaZulu-Natal High Court on corruption charges in Durban. Zuma, 75, arrived to face corruption charges linked to a multi-billion dollar 1990s arms deal. The graft case against him was postponed until June 8 after a brief 15-minute hearing. AFP, Getty.